Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I feel we're going to be doing this undercover. Undercover? On top of the covers. We're going to match the uh, sitting on the bed. So, um, let's have a look into some cards today. I don't know how much space my phone has. Fingers crossed that we can get a decent size reading out. I have the enchanted map. And um, what's interesting, I've got um, a layout of a spread here called the road. And it's three rows of six. And it says, as you go down the road, moving from one card to the next, you reveal, you reveal specific information about work, relationships, and your personal energy. The first card represents the present or very recent past. Okay, so the road. So we have 1 to 6, then 7 to 12, 13 to 18. And I feel like maybe I'll do that spread because I've um, I've got the 9 of 1 standing here. Standing here? Well, he's, he is standing. A wounded warrior. And he is on the road. If you know the 9 of 1s and what the card looks like, then you'll know exactly what I'm saying. Interesting. And then I have the Channel of Love cards that have Mrs Mystic. That's... um that's well facing me I've got my little orange cards and I can see it says I know you can hear me talking to you so we're going to listen today okay. the enchanted map last time the last few times I've used these cards the camera's cut off so we're going to start with one of these the enchanted map and we're on the road we're on the road to nowhere. Huh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look at the enchanted map. It's Friday. Okay. Freaky Friday. I got a feeling. Magic stream. Card number 18. That's the energy of the moon here. I said about things being undercover. So that will take me to the moon, moon energy. Card number 18. Although I went to card number 19, which is the sun energy. That's the divine masculine's energy and it says dragon's lair. Anyway, let's go to um, card number 18, the magic stream. Everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness. Every experience you have seems to have its own life story with a beginning, a middle and eventually an end. Interesting seeing as we've got the road which is the beginning, 1 to 6, a middle, 7 to 12 and eventually an end. However, there is danger in seeing events as separate from one another, since in fact they are all part of a continuity and a greater evolution. That's the counter term 333, Christ consciousness. So like an ever-flowing magic stream, your experiences filter through the whole world, one leading into another, informing and influencing still more. Inspiration, invention and revelations rarely come to just one person. The collective awareness is a shared storehouse of potential. When you remember you're part of the fluid continuity of life, you'll become a channel for great inspiration. Allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams into reality. Your success will benefit many. Let's have a look at this, Mrs. Mystic. Okay, I don't want to be influenced by any more cards. So let's turn them over so that I can't see them. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> what did that say? I know, I know you can hear me talking to you. The road. Let's get the uh, Rider Waite Tarot. I'll give these a shuffle. Okay, the beginning. 
cards number one to six. Let's lay these down. I can't see them just yet. They're under cover. They're on top of the cover, under cover. Three, four, five. Let's move these along a bit. One more. Six. Okay, we'll have two cards for six. You've got seven, really. <laughs> Let's do the middle. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Coming out quick. One more, please. Twelve. And then we'll do, eventually, the end. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, one more please. Okay, let's tap into this magic stream. Let's have a read of the back of this, uh, the road card. As you go down the road, Roman, Roman, <laughs> it says moving. Listen, it come through. Roaming from one card to the next. I did feel I'm not going to have a look at all of them. We should just do one at a time. And um, um, unveil the story. So as you go down the road, moving from one card to the next, you reveal specific information about work, relationships and your personal energy. The first card represents the present or very recent past. Let's look at the first card. Oh, we have the moving on card. Okay. So there's a masculine in the boat. You can't see his face. Um, you can see his back. And he is um, paddling across a river. He has two other people in the boat with him. You can't see their faces either. There's a little one. And then there's a hooded figure. Um, not in a black hood. It's, uh, it's like orange. Kind of orange. Orangey yellow. Gold. Oh, okay. Takes me like a golden child. So there's a masculine here. You can't see any of their faces, but he's transporting this. I do feel a feminine energy here. This golden lady. Um, well, it looks like they're going to an island, and then there's a a younger one there as well. Although I'm feeling now the energy that the younger one could actually be this masculine feeling. Um, he's trying to be brave. Um, and take charge as if it. As if everything's all cool and um, all calm and he's got this in hand. But I feel like he feels like a child. So this is a big responsibility for this masculine. The boat, when because he, he's standing on the boat here. Um, although it's just like a kind of, I don't know, a canoe. What? It's just a boat, a little boat. But there's planks of wood and it actually took me to um, the apparatus that would be set out during a an exercise session where you'd walk the bench and yeah. <clears throat> right let's have a look at the next card the hermit now this is a cloaked person but i can see the side of his face and he is um it's grey, black. So he's draped in black. He holds the star. That's the golden child here. And he holds the magic wand. And that wand looks the same as the one that he's paddling. He's awe. Oh, he's in awe that he's been given this responsibility. This is very much the energy I will do my... I promise that I'll do my best. Oh my goodness, I'm singing like the... Uh, the brownie guide law. I promise that I'll do my best to do my duty to God, to serve the Queen and help other people and to keep the Brownie Guide Law. <laughs> so we've got the Hermits here. Next card. Well, things are changing. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so now that he's made his veil... <laughs> Vow, vow, veil. Now that he's made his veil, but I felt it was the energy of a veil. But then I'm taken to like vows now. He's just said his vow to God. 
Okay, he's just made his promise. Things turn round quickly. Um, it's like this masculine then opens up uh, to receiving spiritual knowledge, information. Remember that this could be the first card represents the present or very recent past. I feel like because things are turned round, have they already turned round for this masculine or they're about to? But he is in awe here of the responsibility he's been given to take care of, which is this golden child, this golden lady, the star. Okay, after the Wheel of Fortune, this is card number four. Why I said that, maybe because it's a Divine Masculine's number. Yeah, we've got death. When I put down card number 13, and I said eventually an end, uh, I was taken to the death card because that's its number. That's a transformation that's occurred. Interesting, because he's on his horse, and in front of him is a priest. The higher friends, I would say. What's interesting, there's a feminine in uh, this picture who's, who's so bright, who's so bright. Well, something so bright that she even has to look away. So it's like she can't look. This could be the energy of being undercover because her head's turned looking to the ground. If I look closely, there's a flower that she's pointing to on the floor. It's a red rose. But he has a white rose that's on his uh, flag with the death energy here. So this masculine's face is... Uh, it's like, no wonder you can't see anyone's face because they're radiating. You would know as soon as you saw the look in their eye, the look in their eyes, because the skeleton here, or is he a skeleton? I don't know. His face is just as radiant as the, the star that's glowing within the hermit's lantern. And the high priest here, oh, okay, the high priest, that will be the hierophant. Who is the high priestess's uh, counterpart? This is the energy of both of you have evolved to high priest, high priestess status. Wow. There's the energy of it's hard to look at each other because it's reflected in your face. Well, he's on his horse. He has a white rose on his flag and the high priest, the high priest in preparation. You walk, you walk over the river on your horse, where here you're in a boat, learning, exercising, practicing. And now it's like it's the real deal. This is an interesting reading. So go down the road. We've got to cross the river to be able to go through the two towers because through the towers is the light and it's everlasting. That's when the light will be shone on the world because it's the light that's within the hermit's lantern here. Okay, let's have a look then. So we're preparing and then we have all oh, the page of wands. Okay. Passionate. Um... Definitely this energy of having passion in the pants. This is the card that I would have called, uh, <laughs> it's got passion in his pants. Okay, he's over the hump. I feel that's he's, uh, he's over the hurdles. Because he doesn't look, um... oh, I can see what's happened. He looks majestic. But he's transmuted this golden energy all the way through his aura. So he's very well balanced. Interesting that he's wearing a blue hat. The throat, the throat chakra being on the crown. Speaking the truth. This is a masculine who's ready to express his, uh, his passionate endeavours. These are new endeavours. Then we have two cards. Because he's a bit greedy. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. The Empress. He's going towards the Empress. She's got like a microphone she's holding over her shoulder as if to say, you can take the mic now. Um, 
interesting because the energy of being take like taking the mickey out of someone so mocking them for maybe their beliefs or for who they are well look what's happened you've just uh, transformed into that being yourself here's the microphone uh you're fully equipped fully educated to be able to speak your own truth it's very nice energy here it's a reflection of your true self that's what this energy is you're meeting the reflection of your true self next card after the empress well we have the four cups if this could all be just um an imagination but it was just my imagination once again running away with me because we've got the four cups and it's like the divine is offering you this love and you folded your arms this is the masculine's energy and you're just staring at three cups in front of you now you are in like a stroppy mood why are you in a stroppy mood now This very much comes in with the energy. I'm too ashamed to face you. Let's go to the middle. Okay. Here we have the nine of wands, which was the bottom of the deck. The wounded warrior on the road. He's left everything behind him. But now what? Because he's still scared. With the nine of wands, the energy always comes through of you may be alone, but you're not. This is when your spiritual guides will come in. And I felt the energy of, because your throat chakra is on your crown chakra, you're ready to speak. So you will receive all this knowledge that's coming in. Because in the Wheel of Fortune card that come after the Hermit, the Hermit goes within to gain esoteric knowledge. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune in the corner of all the card, all the cards in the corner of that card. In all four corners, they've all got books. And there's an angel there who has a golden book. And you've got the sphinx there that's stopping the eagle. Um, I kind of put the sword through his wing. And he's paying attention to him. Who is paying attention to the golden lady. The empress. Guidance. <clears throat> Nine of Wands, let's look at the next card. Okay, the Three of Wands, the card of manifestation waiting for your ship to come in. Now that will happen because all he's looking out on is a golden uh, golden atmosphere, atmosphere, golden, just golden. It's just golden, the whole card is golden really. The sea is golden, the sky is golden. Behind the Empress is golden, in front of the Empress is golden. And interesting because he's got a red coat draped over him. And she's actually kind of sitting on a red blanket drapings. It's a draping, which is draped over him. Okay. He's on the road because uh, I know you can't see the cards. But he's on the road. goodness page of pentacles is next the sky is so golden here and he, he's holding the legacy the pentacle he is screwing his face up a little bit next card yeah taking that leap of faith the fall in a way i'm not sure if he's still running away from this but uh, the day is dawning yeah he could be running away again another day that he prolongs this because you've got the Nine of Swords after the fall. So it's like, do I do this today? And he leaves it for another day. And then it's dark at night. He's back in the darkness. He had his opportunity. I feel because underneath his bed here, he's sitting up in bed, but he, you can't see his face. He's hiding. Um, or he's trying to focus. But there's a block here. Because there's Nine Swords. That are just kind of the backdrop on a black backdrop nine swords and then underneath his bed uh there's three maybe three figures there's two figures definitely one's kind of been pushed into a corner and another one's threatening him 
with uh, his fist. Feels like he's being bullied into this. The divine maybe is bullying the masculine. He knows. His day is coming. Now the blanket that he has that's covering him um, has all blue squares on it and then the other squares are golden with a red rose in it. And that's just what the Empress's gown, it's white with red roses on it. And then we had uh, the girl pointing to the red rose in the, the death card that's on the floor. So, in a way, it's kind of saying to the masculine, something about look for the roses, red roses. Next card, Justice. I mentioned about the veil, having the veil there now, there is a veil behind this character here. A blue square on the crown, so we've picked up on that, it's time to talk, it's time to speak your truth. You're well prepared. Okay, moving along quickly now. And eventually an end. King of Pentacles, that's a nice energy. He has grapes that are on his... Uh, on his gown he's got armor on i can see one of his legs which is um armatized <laughs> he's putting his foot down on some monsters on a monster a dragon pinpointing what the problem is here i feel i do feel the energy of cupid shooting some arrows at this masculine but they're really big arrows It's like they hurt, yeah. They're coming from like all direction. We've got the chariot here. The two sphinxes are here. So I feel the feminine energy, the empress here is ready. Um, the masculine's awakening to the signs um, now that the veil is being pulled aside. And it's hurting, it's hurting. Feels like he's being shot, shot at in all directions, especially with this energy of night time. Another day goes past and um, he, he hasn't done anything to progress, but he has. You can see it within these, uh, these cards here. The next card after the chariot is the five of cups. So we have a block again, like the four of cups came in and he folds his arms. This time he's, he's just looking down um, at the mess of them three of cups. This is the energy of now feeling sorry for himself. Okay, he's got his coat on. He's going to get ready to go. Turn around to the Two of Cups. But first, he's just looking at what a mess those Three of Cups turned out to be. He should have just focused on... Um, it feels the energy of he should have just focused on the Empress's way. Knight of Wands. There's like a loss of libido here. <laughs> Loses his passion again and wants to run. Because his masculine's in the Five of Cups energy, um, he will attract negativity, just more of it. So a loss of passion again. It feels like now he's getting further away from his progress. He's had a relapse. The relapse well let's have a look because we've still got two cards left and eventually an end well there's the lovers um archangel raphael here is healing he's healing this connection but he's healing the heart of the matter and bringing this connection together the light's too strong because behind uh, Archangel Raphael here is uh, the sun. It's time to bear all and to bear the truth and to bear the pain. Instead of keep running away from the pain, it's time to like face it, transmute that energy. <clears throat> and the final, <clears throat> and the final card, the throat chakra is blocked off now. The resurrection. It's going to come. The Ace of Swords is here. 
reclaiming his crown, resurrecting. And this card is on the side with the lovers, with the masculine being on that side. So he's being offered the cup in the four of cups here. There's a hand coming out of the clouds, out of nowhere, offering this masculine um, this opportunity. Then he gets scared. Then it's balanced out again. Then he gets scared again. And then finally, there is the resurrection. Okay. We're on the road to nowhere. That's what he feels this time. <laughs> What's going on with me? Okay, let's get some Oracle. Let's go to Archangel Oracle cards. see what the message is healthy lifestyle Archangel Raphael eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health now I picked up the apparatus like in the um, well, it actually took me to like junior school and we would pull out the apparatus the climbing bars and the ropes and then we'd have the the horses to uh, to jump up, jump over, jump on. <laughs> the benches to walk along. And that's the energy it took me to. Okay, so, and I've picked up the energy of Archangel Raphael and the lovers here. So, a healthy lifestyle. <clears throat> so, the energy of not meaning to, but... Uh, the meaning behind this is self-sabotage. Just when you get close, uh, seems like you sabotage it. Or sabotage yourself again. So eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. You are co-creating your health by following your inner guidance about lifestyle habits. I give you inner nudges to improve the way you eat or to exercise or rest more often. Now we have the chariot energy and interesting, I've actually put the card next to the chariot energy. There is a sluggish energy, it keeps coming out with the four and five of cups. A relapse. My prodding isn't to nag or to rob you of pleasure. <laughs> Said he felt like he was being backed into a corner. Rather, my urgings are in response to your prayers for higher energy levels, increased well-being, weight loss and a happier mood. When you take excellent care of your body, your outlook and self-esteem naturally blossom. Now, he has the white rose here where the feminine full of red roses. And that's what she was pointing at. It's just the word blossom there. When you take excellent care of your body, your outlook and self-esteem naturally blossom. So working with Archangel Raphael, Raphael is heaven's physician and he prescribes preventive and curative medicine in the form of divine intervention and guidance. In the former, he swoops into the situation and surrounds it with his emerald, emerald green healing, light and love, and the situation is instantly healed. But in the latter, which is, which is actually more common, Raphael will give you intuition and hunches, showing you can help, showing you how you can help with the healing. Let's just repeat that part. Raphael will give you intuition and hunches, showing how you can help with the healing. It's got beautiful golden wings here, I just wanted to point out. It's like your life is golden. So let's 
let's make it. Let's make it. You're going to make it, Divine Masculine. Let's look at the energy cards. You didn't come this far to just come this far. Okay. Right, 30 minutes, 16 seconds. It's all going well, isn't it? Happy family in reverse. Let's look at this. Card number four, I've already picked up on that number and explained. It's the number of the emperor, the divine masculine. Happy family in reverse. You've got this rainbow here. I've put this over the knight of wands where I said there's a, a loss of libido here, of the of energy. And Archangel Raphael's explained what that is, why there's a loss of energy here. Your energy levels are low. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. And that will improve your outlook because that's like the Ten of Cups card and it's in reverse. Let's read this. The meaning of this card is meant to be closeness, fun and caring. When the Happy Family card is reversed, it indicates a separation or emotional distance from family members or close friends. This disconnect may be from your family of origin, such as your parents or siblings, or it may be that something is standing between you and your present family members, whether it be your children or your spouse. There could be some hostilities that need to be worked out or perhaps some fences that need to be mended. Communication and patience may be called for here, so let your intuition be your guide. Remember, real healing starts when you choose to become your own loving parent, sibling, spouse, friend or child. The lesson in every relationship is self-honouring and sometimes the karma is just to let go. Interesting it picked up this part because I picked up the energy of this child being, this masculine who's uh, steering, who's in awe but steering this boat. Remember, real healing starts when you choose to become your own loving parent, sibling, spouse, friend or child. The lesson in every relationship is self-honouring and sometimes the karma is just to let go. Here's the affirmation. I open myself to a new and deeper experience of family and I am ready to see greater happiness there. I know that I am the loving family that I need. Let's go to the journey of love. I felt like I had a fly on my foot. I don't. But something's tickling <laughs> my foot. Like the top of my foot, not the sole of it. Not the sole. <laughs> Interesting, because I felt the energy of like itching. So maybe the masculine here uh, feeling like because it's torturous for him. These arrows like feel really big. That are hitting him. And it's like he feels uncomfortable in his skin. In the lover's card here, he's like kind of stripped bare as if to say, what is this feeling? I've got a feeling. Okay. Let's see what the journey of love would like to say. Or where you are on the journey of love. But the journey's talking to you, so let's see what it wants to say. Riding the cosmic wave, but it's in reverse. Obviously, my deck is in reverse, but let's just take note that riding the cosmic wave was seen in reverse. Just like the four and five of cups have been seen and the nine of swords. Card number 60. You can be carried further by the cosmic wave than by your own efforts. Where you are going cannot be attained by effort. The effort, the discipline, prepares us for the leap. But after the leap, we are no longer sustained by our efforts but by forces greater than us, the forces of love itself. You are stepping towards the edge, preparing to leap 
and let the cosmic wave of love carry you forward, you shall be moved through grace into the new world awaiting you. This oracle brings a message. There is a time to work hard and a time to allow the fruits of one's labour to manifest when one may be carried by forces set in motion by the energy of life itself. You can let go and move further, reach farther with less effort. Now is the time to give yourself permission to stop paddling and instead just ride the wave. Give in, let go and be moved. Wow, I love readings, they're so awesome. Come on, I said he's paddling across the river here. On the death card, he'd be able to just walk across effortlessly on his horse. Well, the horse would take him across. Should we read the poem? Let's read the poem. Your spirit flies like the wind, warms like the sun, and watches like the sky. How wise the earth, waiting for the moment to be touched. That's beautiful. Let's end with a Mother Mary message. I can, hear the, <clears throat> I can hear the divine saying, I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a reading comes together. It's like that's the A team, the, the angelic team. Okay. Mother Mary Oracle, can we have a message, please? Finish this reading. Card number seven. Our Lady of Answered Prayers. It took me to that first row having seven cards there. So Our Lady of Answered Prayers. It's a beautiful golden card here. Let's finish with this message. Let me just have some coffee, please. I hear your every thought, your every prayer uttered under the breath. I feel every beat of your sacred heart as it yearns for my limitless love. Do you imagine that I could be ignorant of that which you need the most? Or that I would neglect attending to the deepest needs of your sacred heart? Do you imagine that I am not moved by your suffering or your courage. My beloved, I have already answered your every heartbeat and you must now look for me to see that I stand right before you and have never left you. I am with you now and your prayers are answered through my miracles and my grace. Have faith in me. Prayer is a powerful practice. Sometimes we might worry that we are not saying the right words or that our prayer is too simple or too confusing. Prayer is just speaking with the divine from the heart. There is no need for ornate words or perfect expression. Whatever comes from your heart is the most powerful prayer. Prayer is conversation with the divine in the same way that we communicate regularly to build a human relationship to strengthen our relationship with the divine, we can choose to communicate regularly too. Morning and night, we can utter a quick prayer from the heart. Mother Mary, be with me, guide me, protect and assist me, that I can serve love. Thank you. It is like getting dressed spiritually, wearing an invisible but palpable robe of protection and grace. It is subtle but extremely effective, and when done regularly, you will notice a difference over time. You'll eventually wonder how you ever managed without it. Perhaps you may worry or be confused as to what you are needing protection from, but there is no need to be fearful. There are many distractions and distortions that exist in the world, from the most mundane 
and yet powerful forces of media and advertising, to the more subtle and yet also very powerful undercurrents of unprocessed fear that exist in the collective human soul. We are able to live more freely with greater trust in the steps we are asked to take in our lives if we have some help in deflecting influences that could unnecessarily undermine our self-confidence and make our tasks more difficult than they need to be, than they need be. This oracle brings a profound message of peace in that your prayers are being answered now. Feeling the relief of this realisation can help that answer reach us more quickly. A soft, receptive heart, rather than a heart hardened by fear or expectation of disappointment, can be touched by the divine more easily. Answers always come. It is our ability to recognise them, to be moved by them, and to allow the solution to unravel that can be the challenge. When we call upon the Divine Mother, we are also assisted with our ability to let go of our attachment to the difficulty, the pain, the problem, and instead to let go, to open up to the healing, the solution. Part of how this happens is through being willing to not just look at your life situation now, but to really see your life through the eyes of your heart. There is something or someone that is happening in your life now that is the seed of the answered prayer. The situation is being resolved. Sometimes this is in its earlier stages and we have to wait a while before we can consciously recognise that the miracle is manifesting right before our eyes. At other times, however, it is meant to happen now. The solution is right in front of us. When this oracle appears, your solution is not in a distant future, but under your feet in the here and now. Open your heart and open your eyes. You can pray that you can see the answer before you now and become capable of accepting the divine help that is offered to you now with the following healing process and affirmation. This oracle is assuring you that your prayer is capable of being resolved. It is also encouraging you to hold a soft receptive heart in realisation that the answer is already tapping at the door of your heart, waiting for it to open up and receive. What a beautiful message today, guys. Okay, let's leave with the healing process and affirmation. Close your eyes and place your hands in prayer position at your heart. If this doesn't feel natural for you, you may like to gently hold your hands together at your heart, but open with palms facing upwards as though ready to receive. If you have a prayer that you would like to say, either for the first time or repeated, you can speak the prayer quietly, in your mind or aloud. Just speak naturally from the heart, as though talking to your best friend. Then imagine the words that you have spoken, transforming into soft golden light in the air in front of you. The soft golden light of your prayer rises up towards an even brighter, golden light burning like a sun just above you. As the light of your prayer enters into that golden light, it bursts into stunning flames of golden fire. Feel the nourishing warmth of those golden flames, gently warming the crown of your head all the way down into your heart and hands with a soft feeling of goodness. Know that your prayer is answered. When you are ready, say the following prayer, repeating it quietly in your mind, or if you can, speaking it aloud. Mother Mary, full of grace, help me find the courage within to accept the answers to all my prayers. Help me surrender my thoughts of how this should be 
and to lovingly embrace what is. I trust you completely. I thank you for your divine intervention and protection. May I feel that you are with me always. Through your miraculous grace, the heartfelt prayers of the world are answered. Thank you. Rest quietly for a moment. When you are ready, you may like to finish this healing process with this affirmation. Holy Mother of Grace, in all of my life, I see your loving gaze. I accept all that is and all that will be. I accept your healing intervention that I may live my divine destiny. In service, my heart opens and receives you now. Beautiful. 45 minutes, 54 seconds, and we're on page 45. Guys, that was an amazing reading. I really hope uh, you take a lot from that. I will catch up with you all, with you all soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.